In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can solve simultaneous equations where one is linear and the other is nonlinear. Normally, with simultaneous equations, we can solve them through elimination, but in this case, the powers on the x's and the y's are not the same. So we can't eliminate x with x and y with y. In this case, what we'll need to do is use substitution. I'm going to label my two equations in the example on the left hand side as being equation one and equation two. I'm going to create a third equation using equation two by rearranging it. And I get y is equal to two minus x. If I know that y is two minus x, what I can do is substitute equation three into equation one. And this in a way removes y from the first equation because I'll have x squared plus, and instead of y squared, I'll have two minus x all squared. And this will still equal 34. The next thing I need to do is expand and simplify. Remember that when we expand brackets, two minus x all squared means two minus x times two minus x. So two times two is four, two times negative x is negative two x negative x times two is negative two x, and negative x times negative x is positive x squared. Simplifying the middle two terms would give x squared minus four x, and then add four. So rewriting my answer so far, I've got x squared plus x squared minus four x plus four is equal to 34. Collecting any like terms gives me 2x squared minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 34. This is now a quadratic, and in order to solve a quadratic, I have to make sure it's equal to 0. So subtracting 34 from both sides gives me 2x squared minus 4x minus 30 is equal to 0. Now luckily for me in this example, this could be factorised and all terms have a factor of two. So taking two out as a common factor, and factorizing the term that is inside the bracket. Leads me to x is equal to five and x is equal to negative three. If I know that x is equal to five and x is equal to negative three, I can substitute these into equation three and find out what y is. So looking at equation three, when x is equal to five, y would equal to minus five, so I get negative three. When x is equal to negative 3, y would equal 2 take away negative 3, which then gives me 5. So when x is equal to 5, y is equal to negative 3. When x is equal to negative 3, y is equal to 5. And this is the solution to this problem. Pause the video here and have a go at the question on the right hand side. When you're ready for the answer, press play. So like with the example on the left hand side, I'm going to label this equation one and equation two. I'm going to create a third equation, y is equal to seven minus x. Substituting equation three into equation one will give me x squared plus seven minus x all squared is equal to 37. He's planning the brackets seven minus x times seven minus x would give 49 take away seven x take away seven x plus x squared. Simplifying the middle two terms and then rewriting my answer x squared plus 
x squared minus 14x plus 49 is equal to 37. Collecting the like terms, 2x squared minus 14x plus 49 is equal to 37. Taking away 37 from both sides would give 2x squared minus 14x plus 12 is equal to 0. All terms again have a common factor of 2. So taking 2 out as a common factor would give x squared minus 7x plus 6 is equal to 0. And factorising the term that's inside of the brackets would give x minus 1 and x minus 6. This leads to x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 6. Substituting these two values into equation 3 would give y is equal to 7 minus 1, which is 6, and y is equal to 7 minus 6, which is equal to 1. So the answer to this question is, when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 6, and when x is equal to 6, y is equal to 1.